Monsoon season is just around the corner. We want to make sure you and your family are aware and have a plan for all the potential hazards you may experience this season. In this video, we are going to talk about downburst winds. First, let's talk about what causes downburst winds to occur. At the first stage of the thunderstorm life cycle, we see rising air that cools and condenses to produce cumulus clouds. This shows the development of what is called an updraft or upward motion of air into the developing thunderstorm. If the updraft and downdraft are not separated, the downdraft downward velocity can begin to overtake the updraft and cause the storm to collapse on itself. Once the accelerating air reaches the ground, it will spread laterally, often with a vortex or curl on the lead edge. Downburst damage will radiate from a central point as the descending column spreads out when impacting the surface. This can occur quickly and cause damage equivalent to an EF0 to EF1 tornado. Though, the processes and damage patterns of downbursts and tornadoes are different. Desert Southwest is a beautiful place to get outside and enjoy recreational activities. We just want to make sure you and your family are doing so safe this summer. Downburst winds can come up quickly and oftentimes without much warning. So we just want to give you some visual clues you can start to look for to let you know that thunderstorms are developing for the day and it might be time to check the forecast again. First thing that you can look for is towering cumulus clouds with darkening bases. If you can see this, it might be time to just take a break and make sure you're in a location with good service to check the forecast just one more time. One place you never want to be during a thunderstorm is out on the lake. Downburst winds can be a very dangerous situation for boaters, as winds in a downburst can reach 50, 60, or even 70 plus miles per hour. This would be very dangerous if you were out on the water. Make sure if you see towering cumulus clouds, or if you start to see visual cues such as dust being blown around or a distant rain shaft, that you go ahead and head in closer to shore so that you can get off the lake in the event that a thunderstorm moves into the area. Another place you never want to be during the middle of a thunderstorm is inside your tent sheltering. This is not a substantial enough structure to protect you from winds in a downburst situation. Falling trees, debris, and the sheer magnitude of the winds may be more than your tent can handle. We advise moving into a sturdier structure with four walls and a roof. This is also going to throw out things like picnic awnings and overhangs, as these do not have four walls to protect you from flying debris. Keeping you and your family safe this monsoon season doesn't just start when you get to where you're going. While you're driving to your recreational opportunities this summer, make sure you're keeping an eye on the weather then too. Downburst winds can cause dust storms to form. Be sure that you have a way to receive those dust storm warnings so that you're aware of what's coming your way. Dust storms can quickly drop visibility and make driving conditions very dangerous. Tune in to our video this week on dust storms to learn more about this and what you can do to keep you and your family safe should you encounter a dust storm this summer.